If you've been following the channel for a while and you've been following the planted bird cage Avery build, you might have remembered this. So let me talk about uh, what is bad uh, about this cage, which I need to figure out and see what needs doing. Bad. So mold right here. As you can see, mold right here. The rose. The rose is not dead. Well, there's no rose there at the moment, as you can see right there. No rose. It's just literally just twigs. Yes, that's right. That's the reveal video of the planted bird cage area. And you may have also noticed I said this in the video. All along, I would say that this cage is 70, 75% of what I uh, was expecting. Yes, that was all problems that I was not expecting to have when building this Avery. My imagination thought of something, but the reality, it was something else. But I think we may have fixed that. Let me show you. Let me take you back to just a couple of weeks ago when I was ripping everything apart, all the pots, all the plants, everything you just saw in the beginning of this video and remodeling it to what it looks like now. But hang on, before we start, before we get into the main part of the video, let me say a big welcome to the new viewers of the channel. Welcome to you, thank you for clicking on the video. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, be sure to click up this pop-up banner right here. That's gonna take you to the video that I am talking about and how the planted bird cage looked before what I'm gonna show you now. Or if you want to get to know me a little bit better, be sure to click my bio or check out my channel page in total to uh, get to know me and get to know what type of videos I do. But that's enough talking, let's get straight into the video. So, as I was saying, just a couple of weeks ago, I ripped everything out. You remember that big plant, that big pot that we built outside with stones and everything? Yes, that's all gone. And you remember the big pot I had and the plants, the little palm tree I had on top? Yeah, that's all gone as well. But because of my good filming skills, I did not film it because obviously I forgot a typical Lucas. But yes, I did film the rest and the remodeling it, which is the most important part. So, step one, I did start off by uh, ripping everything apart, as I said um, and then second of all I cleaned everything obviously you're meant to have a good clean clean working space before you start any type of job at least for me I then went to home base and bought these fake plants a panel of uh, leaves to stick on the wall as you can see in the video I'm sticking them on the wall now you may have noticed uh, there is a gap in the in the middle and where the plants don't connect that is for a purpose and I'll show you that later on in the video so I continued to fill in the back wall with these fake plants I actually ended up buying four of them and had to end up trim trimming the bottom pieces so we can have a good clean finish at the bottom part of the uh, back wall now one of the problems I was having with my previous setup is that the birds were eating and chewing up all the plants but this time I ended up finding a plant which the birds do not touch and absolutely hate now if you're thinking it's a fake plant nope it's not a fake plant it's a completely real plant but the birds don't seem to like the taste of it which is a good thing so I ended up buying this little plant now this is a conifers tree plant and the birds absolutely hate it and it does spike not enough to poke you but it does kind of itch uh, which is not a problem to the birds because again the birds don't seem to like it but it's good news for me because it means that I have a plant that the birds will not eat which was one of the problems that I was having again in the previous setup as you can see the pot is still the same uh, same pot same rocks just a different plant now I did have two plants one on each side of the pot but this time I decided to have just one plant on the back corner just so we can have a little bit more visibility when looking into the planted Avery. Now moving back to the panels of uh, fake uh, leaves on the wall, do you remember I said that I left a little black gap? 
Yes, I did that because I put a pot and a little tall plant of another species of conifers plant. Also, this is one of the plants that the birds do not touch and absolutely hate the taste of. Yes, this plant does cover the black things and the reason I've done it is because I didn't want to waste another uh, two quid on a panel of fake grass for me to cut up and only use not even half of it. So I ended up leaving it like as it is and ended up placing a real plant of conifers in the middle and I tell you what, it absolutely does look really really nice. On to the next step. Now do you remember last a uh, couple of months when we did our first series of the planted bird cage that I said I was gonna make a little fountain for it. Well, let's move on to that. Now, in order for me to make this little fountain, I needed to have it raised. Now, I made a little table round about 50 to 60 centimeters off the ground. As you can see, I grabbed a little plank of wood that was laying in my shed and a couple of little battens. Now, if you Americans don't know what a batten is, a batten is a little plank of wood. Let me show you. This is a batten right here. We call it in the UK a little batten. Now enough of that. Yes, I cut the battens and I cut them to roughly around 30 to 40 centimeters. I don't really remember the size, but yeah. So you can get an idea of how raised it is from the ground. Now I had to do this because I wanted the water feature to be seen for when you come in the cage. And yeah, you'll agree with that. So as you can see, I'm cutting up the little planks, the little battens of wood and sticking them to form a table. It had to be strong enough to support quite a lot of weight because I was gonna add stones and rocks and also the weight of the water itself. I then went on to placing a mesh on the tub. Now the reason I did this is because I needed a bit of support because of the weight that was going to be on the lid. I was going to put rocks, stones, all sorts of heavy stuff inside to make it look decorative and I needed this extra support to make sure that the lid didn't break through or cave in. So I ended up putting mesh and tucked the mesh all the way around the rim of the box so the mesh could be tight and firm. And after that I ended up drilling holes. This would allow for the water that was coming up from the fountain to drain back in to the sump. And after bringing the table in, positioning the table, making sure that it was in the correct place, bringing in the tub, filling the tub up with water, we were left with this. Welcome to Rocky Springs, the rainforest. A place where water is abundant and a place where the dense green trees bring life and vibrance to the birdcage. None of that, I'm no David Attenborough, but let me show you around. So it's been two weeks since we've done the remodeling video and this reason I decided to wait two weeks is because I wanted to show you guys what it looked like after the birds moved in. So meaning the food, the poop, all the mess that they make and let me show you how it compares to the previous setup that I had. Let's head inside. So I want to talk to you about the fountain first, which is probably one of the you know features that you guys want to know as well. It is solar powered, meaning it is powered by the sun. There is a solar panel that uh, powers it whenever the sun's out. It does turn off at night, there is no battery, but the power source is the sun. So whenever the sun's out, it will work. Whenever the sun's not out, it will stop working. And that's a good thing. That's exactly what I wanted because I didn't want it to be running every night because there was really no reason for it to run every night. I wanted it to run during the day because it's obviously when the birds are more active and when they are going here and there inside the bird cage and outside. Now the reason for the fountain is because it will provide fresh water and it will also provide a place for them to bathe and it will also help me in terms of changing water they are getting a constant supply of fresh water from the sump which is underneath and I only have to really change it every month which will help me because of the amount of birds I have and the amount of cleaning I have to do especially with the budgies and cockatiels which are a lot of work Now all 
of the cages I have, this one is definitely now the new low maintenance cage uh, in terms of water and food. One, because obviously as I said we're having a constant supply of fresh water and second of all is because I don't have many birds. At the moment we will be getting new birds soon around March time just to be a, 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 bit, a little bit picky and a, bit, a little bit exciting. So yeah we'll be getting some new birds but uh, in terms of birds as well as, as I said uh, low birds equals low food consumption meaning I only have to fill that up probably um, a couple times every month which is probably two three times depending on how much the bird eats obviously the colder it is the more the birds will eat because of winter they want to keep their body temperature they want to keep warm in winter uh, so uh, yes yeah, we're currently at nine degrees in this cage right here nine degrees and eight degrees on budgie cage so it is chilly here uh, the temperature has dropped dramatically so moving on to the poop uh, yes it's been two weeks obviously the birds did poop um, uh, let me show you what it looks like obviously as I said after it's been used with poop seed and all whatever the birds have to do they have to do you know what I mean but let's look let's look at the top part first as you can see there is poop there as you can see um, the rocks but the good thing is that it's because the good thing about this is that because it's stones and rocks it is easier for me to take out clean in the bucket and replace them in so all in all you know during a month looking at it I won't have a lot of work to do uh, in terms of cleaning because again most of the part is just the rocks um, here and just probably some of the walls uh, again uh, over here as well and some of the perches here as you can see again that back uh, little tree as well does have some poop again the birds do not go there because we actually have something cool which you may have saw that came out we have a nest at the back so this area is actually protected by a pair of um, finches as you can see right there there is the eggs right there so yes they are both fertile this is good news because it means that the birds are happy and healthy so yes that's a really nice addition to see their natural behavior and as I said uh, I don't know if I said it in the beginning of this video obviously it's been two obviously it's been two weeks since I filmed it but as I said in the, in the video the whole goal of this was to make it look as natural as possible not in terms of looks only but in terms of how the animals behave and this is what we are getting results of in this cage right here uh, I did add a few nest boxes, uh, these little nest boxes that you buy in Poundland, uh, right here, one there, one there, two quid, one, one pound for both of them, to see if we would get some nesting material, but the finches did decide to do their nest there, and if they, to be honest, if they feel safe and happy to make their nest there, let them be, and you know, don't stress them out, so uh, yeah. That's one of the really really nice pictures. I'm so happy about to see their natural behaviors um, You know see the birds doing their natural behaviors mold no mold as you can see right here uh, Still haven't sorted the problem now the reason there is no mold is because it hasn't been raining So I figured out it wasn't the mess that I was doing it was actually mold uh, or humidity coming from the outside in into the inside of the cage because of the temperature difference from the outside and the difference as you know when I built this cage and put a lot of insulation especially on the budget area because this is the most important part of the channel budgies um, obviously this is obviously obviously coming you know becoming important as well because it's one of the main features again of this channel but I did put a lot of insulation so it is way warmer in here than it is outside outside is currently minus one and we get in 10 degrees and it's still rising obviously the, the more the Sun rises the more warmer it gets so um, yeah uh, but without moving too far a topic uh, yes that's the mold it's still we still have this problem but uh, I am gonna maybe paint this uh, into a dark a brown color to make like a, a wood effect or maybe even a rocky effect we're still doing you know it's still a process we still need to figure out I was thinking of getting a stone little wall here to make it look like a rock mountain or kind of thing but we'll see what we get into uh, later on all in all guys I'm like like overwhelmed by how this turned out 
Why didn't I do this in the beginning? I have no clue. I, I literally have no clue. But I'm happy I finally <laughs> managed to sort myself out and you know sort this cage out because it looks really really nice. I don't think the camera does justice. Uh, again, obviously it doesn't do justice with the way I'm filming. Um, but uh, yeah, it doesn't do justice. Only coming in here and looking at it will look really nice. We also have a real plant there as well. Um, you know, this was a cheap one, so the reason I bought it is because I wanted to test it out to see if the birds will eat it, which of course they do, uh, especially when it's all wet. So the birds are eating it. I don't really mind, again, it is what it is, um, but <clears throat> the reason I, I bought it at the first place is because I thought when the water touches it, I thought, you know, whilst the water fountains on, they won't go near it. But it, look like, it looks like that's not working. So yeah, all in all guys, look, really happy with how this came out really happy it does not get dirty with bird poop because one of the also problems we we're having was that this was getting you know full of bird poop at the back so and it was looking ugly so surprisingly i don't know why this is not getting full of bird poop but it is what it is uh, we still have another panel to cover on this side here just to finish that as you can see the mold's still there but that's obviously because there's water on there and we're up against the wall just behind uh, that little panel right there but all in all guys i'm you know super super stoked about this and I can't wait to get more birds um, for especially finches because the idea was for finches um, but we'll see what the canaries give us and you know we'll see what the behavior the main the main um, chewing the main people that are chewing this are the canaries the canaries are just chewers and I was not aware of that but because they were given to me and they were, I was offered them I was like why not take them so I have canaries here um, these two canaries have been sold one's going to it's new home in uh, a couple of weeks time and we still have to figure out agendas uh, for the rest of the canaries which I'm you know it's looking like it's going to be boys we also have an upcoming video about DNA testing right here uh, it's uh, we're gonna I'm gonna start filming it probably sometime next week or something like that uh, because we have a few birds uh, not to name them cockatiels that I need to DNA test because I'm starting to doubt their genders so uh, yeah be sure to stay tuned to that to find out the results and to find out to see if we will be built breeding and having offspring here in uh, the shed for cockatiels so that's going to be an exciting video be sure to click that subscribe button that notification bell so you do not miss out on any upload um, it's completely free you don't pay anything it just helps support the channels of birds every animal that I have and it helps us make more amazing quality videos as my slogan is amazing and quality videos so uh, yes uh, be sure to help us out um, big things coming this year in terms of birds and projects uh, so yeah be, be, be on the lookout for that uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed leave a comment below to see uh, I want to know what you guys think uh, it's you know the channel's not big big obviously I'm not expecting 5,000 comments um, but you know at least one or two comments just to make sure that you guys are enjoying the videos what is this yeah just to make sure that you guys are enjoying the videos and uh, yeah I just want to hear what you guys think of the bird cage I will do a cinematic video and a sound video of the canaries although that's going to be a bit difficult because I have more budgies than anything and they are allowed so um, so yeah hope you guys enjoyed hit that thumbs up button comment down below subscribe share this video with new friends share it wherever and I'll see you guys on my next video God bless you all and bye bye <laughs>